Greetings everyone and welcome back to another video. I don't have a lot of time right now, but I'm getting ready to go out of town and I realized I hadn't done a video on this yet. There is going to be a legendary TOS Captain bundle that's going to be coming out um, next Thursday, I believe, and I'm not going to be here. I'm going to have to wait until probably the 13th before I can get my hands on it. But uh, I'm not going to go over the boost or the page that announced it because there's really not much to say. Let's just have a quick look at the legendary Miranda. So. It's going to be uh, $60 on sale, $120 normal price. It's pretty much the exact same as all of these other single ship legendary bundles. And uh, it is a tier 6 ship. It is a hull modifier 1.375, shield modifier 1.21, which is uh, pretty good. And it is a multi-mission cruiser. That's the same thing the Clark was. So it's kind of like a flight, you know, the old flight deck uh, cruisers were. Not their flight deck carrier, so it's it's a cruiser, but it has a hangar bay, but it's not really tactical focused. Uh, anyway, it has a 5-3 weapon layout, which is pretty good. It has four device slots. It bridge officer seating. It has a lieutenant uh, commander tactical, a commander engineering temp ops, a lieutenant commander science pilot, and a uh, ensign universal and a lieutenant universal. So it is a temp ops primary pilot secondary. Not really sure sure what you would do with that on a cruiser, but uh, you know the role play is definitely there. You can get recursive shearing three. That's a pretty powerful ability. Uh, and pilot seating is mostly for fun, but hey, it's a game. Games are for fun, uh, so you know use those abilities and get your fill with that. It has three tactical, four for engineering, and four for science. Turn rate of ten, which isn't bad for a cruiser. Impulse modifier of 0.17. Inertia 45. Ten weapon power. Ten to ox. And uh, let's go ahead and get on with the stuff that, you know, people are interested, console, trait, all that. So the hangar bay does come with Class F shuttles, which I believe should unlock them. And uh, those come on the Atlas, so if you don't have the Atlas already, I think I'm one of those people who's been beating that drum for a long time now. These are really great pets. Um, they're not really, you know, in favor right now. There are better pets, and they do have a torpedo, which isn't great. Uh, but, yeah, these are really strong pets, and uh, you get to have them, so that's a really nice thing they threw in there. And of course it has the uh, old consoles and stuff there, but then we take a look here at the uh, the new trait here. You find it. Okay, that's the new visual variant. Take a look at it real quick. And uh, did I miss the console and trait? Well, it's not going to have a new console, but it should have a new trait. Did I miss that? It has... Ah, here it is. Uh, do, 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 do one big happy fleet. Okay, the first damage is the new trait. The first damage your ship deals during combat will force that foe's shields offline for a moderate duration, allowing opportunity for a devastating initial volley. Thereafter, you will gain an increasing amount of shield penetration for energy weapons for as long as you remain in combat. This benefit resets when you leave combat. Depending on how long it takes the shields offline for and how big the shield pin is, uh, this could be pretty good for energy weapons, to be honest. Uh, we'll just have to see, but energy weapons have mostly been relying on, you know, firing cycle haste and stuff like that. So if we can get a really great uh, trait for energy weapon builds that does something different that's, you know, shield pin reliant, that'd be pretty cool. Also, if it takes the shields down for a really long time, like 20 seconds or something silly like that, uh, could be good for torpedo builds because um, shields are their biggest enemy. So we'll have to see what the numbers look like. Um, People are kind of mad that we just had the Clark and now they're adding this to the game. So, you know, I am going to get it probably. So there will be a review of it at some point. Obviously, it's going to be delayed because I'm going to be out of town. Uh, but I'm out of time. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.